Um, today we're going to be making some mozzarella cheese with the goat's milk that Jess got uh, between yesterday and today. Um, so we have a total of a gallon of milk and uh, yeah, so the video that you just seen um, was Jess um, milking the goat and and uh, straining it and now we're going to get started on mixing the ingredients together and uh, Willa is excited. Willa is very excited. So we're going to get started and show you guys how to do it. So we got our gallon of milk. We've got the rennet which makes the curd. We got salt, lemon juice, and water. So that's the ingredients. And that's my piece of cheese with a dirty thumbprint on it. And that's mine for snacking on. Which is Botten Trees Cheese by Dirty Old Black Diamond. Anyway, so let's get at it. Quarter cup of water. Hands are just shaking. It's great excited, eh? Great excited. A little bit over is okay? I think so. Yeah. There. Quarter. Pour it in there? No. Here. And then we put in a quarter of a teaspoon of rennet. Liquid rennet. Do you shake these? I did already, yeah. So you add that to the water? Yeah. Now we need one cup of cold water in the bottom. And two tablespoons of water. Cold water? What is the chunky? Very chunky. Just cream? Cream, yes. Oh. oh, dirty. Okay, now we have to slowly heat that to 90 degrees. On a quick little side note, cooking with Mike and Willa, we're going to show you how to make a greasy old lemonade. So we get you set up here for the shot. Like that, you take your lemon juice. Oh, and you squeeze out a good cup of that. Pour it into your old pitcher. Then you take your sugar. Oh. We're clumping. Oh, that's two cups. We only need one. We're gonna just pour that back in. A little bit much. Still too much. Let's throw a little more back in. Now we go. Huh? There, good enough. Good enough. 
There. Add that in. Turn you guys around here. Oh, that's hot water. I'm gonna have to add ice to this stuff. Rinse out your. It's best if you use your measuring cup for the sugar first while it's dry. Then you just fill it up with water, boys. Six cups. Six cups. Six and a quarter, if you want to be exact. But we're not. Then you look in your drawer that has everything but what you're looking for. Ooh. Get yourself a stir stick. Mix that stuff up. And you got yourself a pitcher of lemonade while you're waiting for Seventy-two. Your cheese to curd. Seventy-three. Anyway, that was just a little side note. So we've reached our ninety degrees, and now we have to add the rennet. Add the rennet. And I'm gonna stir it for three seconds. And this is our first time attempting to make cheese. So, if you've done it, and you've done it better, well, you've probably done it better. And you gotta stir it for 30 seconds? Mm -hmm. What kind of stirring is that? Okay, so after putting in the rennet, you let it sit for five minutes, just at room temperature. And now, we are going to uh, cut the curd. That's the curd there. That's the curd there. Uh, oh, the liquid's the way. And the liquid. Well, you just heard, Jessica. I don't know why I gotta repeat it. Yeah. Look at that. Black diamond, my body. Eh? Look at this. We're masters. A little bit overheated out. <laughs> Just scratching the snot over I your know. pan. I know. I bet. Try not to scratch it too much. And then we gotta heat it to 105. Boss. Hey. What's he getting all worked up about? Okay, so we got that all cut up. Now we're gonna heat it up to 105 degrees. Alrighty. And then remove the curds into a bowl and leave as much weight as we can in there. So stir for two to five minutes and then leave the curds in there take the curd curds out and leave as much whey as you can okay get out of the chicken bucket okay so we're gonna get that stirred up and I'm gonna get well out of the chicken bucket so now we are moving the curds from the whey So now Jess is just squeezing out the last little bit away. Wait up for how long? So now I microwave it for one minute.
So sprinkle a teaspoon of salt on the curds. And, yeah, on the curds. And then ginger, gingerly. Burn your fingers. Burn your fingers. Apparently we need to invest in some rubber gloves. Is that how you need? Just now. Do you have to strain it after this? It says until cool enough to touch and then microwave two more times for 35 seconds each. Okay. Repeating kneading process each time until stretches like toffee. Oh. So now we gotta learn how to make toffee in order to make cheese. So once you've done that and repeated the process two more times, you end up with something better looking than this. <laughs> <laughs> you don't end up with a bowl of cauliflower, but you put it in another little dish and you put cover it with ice cold water, which because it's winter out. Everything's ice cold. Everything's ice cold. And then you cover that with saran wrap and you let it sit until you're ready to eat it. Well, then you take it out and saran wrap it tight. Oh, is that what it is? Yeah. My apologies. Okay. Okay. So there we go. We will show you guys. Taste test. When we taste it. <laughs> 